Welcome to Avian Adventures, the interviews. Today, Phil on Phil. First question. Who is Phil? Who am I? Now I've spent most of my life wondering that too. I suppose the simplest answer is that I'm me. I'm Phil. I'm a uh, slightly goofy English guy who got married to a slightly goofy American girl. And we just moved down to Jacksonville, Florida. I rather like birds. And that's why I'm making this video and why we're making all of these videos because we love birds and we want you guys to love birds too. How did you get into birding? So I got into birding actually through my dad. He, um, he used to take me and Rich out, often fishing actually, I think just to get us interested in nature. We'd always go out to interesting places and he had a knack for finding you know, vacation spots near peregrine nests. I think that was his sneaky way of trying to get us hooked. I remember very vividly one time crawling across the top of a mountain through sheep poo just to get that perfect picture of a peregrine. <laughs> yes, well, who hasn't? What is your favorite bird? When I was young, I used to look through the bird book and there was one that always stuck out to me, something I didn't see until I actually left England and moved to America but I always wanted to, it was the osprey. Without a doubt, the most beautiful bird I've ever seen. There's just something about ospreys that was so intriguing to me when I was young. And they just looked so impressive. The, the facial patterning was so striking. Seeing one come down, dive and take a fish is, is really special. How do you see your role in avian adventures? What do you bring to the table? What makes you an integral cog? <laughs> integral cog, yes, I suppose you could say that. As far as what I bring, well, I'm a visionary. I, I imagine every outing, every possible way, lay everything out for everyone, provide everyone with a perfectly manicured script. Without me, there would be no avian adventures. Which is to say, um, I think, in reality, I expected to be, you know, the goofball that brought comic relief. And it turns out, actually, I'm kind of drab and everyone else is really funny. What would your ideal birding outing excursion be? I mean, where would you go? What bird would you see? Who would you go with? That's tricky. We went out to uh, the Farne Islands, uh, Mandy and I, for my birthday many years ago now. And we were able to see, you know, thousands and thousands of, of um, razorbills, guillemots, terns, puffins. Combine that trip with the Iceland visit. Um, there's a, a boat that you can take that takes you past these crazy nesting colonies and combines that with also nesting colonies of white-tailed sea eagles. As for who I would go with, well, I mean, th there's no one that I love birding better than my, my partner in crime. Um, Mandy and I have seen probably the vast majority of the best birds that we've ever seen together, and I certainly wouldn't want to go see uh, white-tailed sea eagles if it wasn't with her. And you know, anyone else can come along too. What is the bird that got away? You said you've chased, so presumably sometimes you have failed. Yes? Um, yeah, certainly no, we've, we've failed on, on chases. The, uh, I don't know, four or five hours we spent on the Outer Banks looking for a snowy owl was a complete disaster. We got horribly drenched and found no owls. But actually the, the bird that so far eluded me the most annoyingly is the Louisiana water thrush. 
Um, Mandy has seen it multiple times at River Park North back in Greenville. And you know, I thought we had it one day. We were out uh, on our way out to the mountains. We stopped near Winston-Salem. And we thought we'd finally track one down. And it was a northern water thrush. Now don't get me wrong, that was a life run. I was very excited, but at the same time, it still was in that Louisiana water thrush. And I've gone out searching for that several times now. Come up empty handed every time. Quite remarkable. What is the bird that you would most want to see in the wild? It's tricky. There's so many good choices. But one that I have seen in zoos and bird centers, like uh, bird of prey centers, is the secretary bird. It's just, it's an outstanding creature. And to, to see one of those hunting out in the wild would just be amazing. Simply stunning. <clears throat> of course, secretary birds would require me going to Africa to go see them. I'm not, I, I guess they're kind of out in the, the sort of the Serengeti type stuff. So, oh no, I'd have to see, you know, lions and giraffes and gazelles and stuff as well. What a pity. What are your hobbies outside of birding? Popping out from behind trees. Hiding in the bushes. How peculiar. <laughs> Do you know, us birders, we're just like normal people. We like the same sort of things that the rest of you like. We're not weird. Why does everyone say we're so weird? <laughs> no, no, no. No. Are there any tips or tricks you'd like to share with your viewers? As a just a, a repeat of something I said in a previous video. Always make one last stop. Take a second. Even if you're tired, go back, look at that place one more time. Give yourself one more chance to see that special and amazing bird. Of course, all birds are special and amazing, so, you know. <laughs> Thank you dear viewers for tuning in. We'll see you next week for another Avon Adventure in the interview. Harlequin Dark History Onicus, History Onicus. Sighted!